Beneath the surface of ordinary stone lies a silent map, and quartz veins are the lines that guide it. They appear as pale streaks cutting through darker rock, sometimes thin as a hair, sometimes thick as a tree root. Most people walk past them without a second thought, unaware that these veins are nature's own directions to hidden wealth. Quartz is one of the most common minerals on Earth, but what it leads to is anything but common. Quartz forms when mineral-rich fluids move through cracks in the Earth. As those fluids cool, quartz crystallizes. But quartz never travels alone. It is the companion of deeper treasures, gold, tourmaline, garnet, zircon, sapphire, and even emerald crystals in certain geological conditions. So when you see a quartz vein, you're not just looking at stone, you're looking at a pathway. The wider the vein, the longer the history of fluid movement. The more fractured the walls, the more chances precious minerals had to settle. The clearer the quartz, the more stable the temperature of formation, meaning minerals form slowly, which is how crystals grow large. But the true signal is texture. Quartz that appears cloudy, milky, or filled with tiny cracks has a story inside. Tiny metallic specks hidden inside can be early signs of gold-bearing ore. The faint glimmer you see under light isn't imagination. It can be the same shimmer miners chased for centuries. Sometimes the quartz looks ordinary until water touches it, when wet faint metallic flickers appear. This is where the value begins. Follow the vein with your eyes and you start to see patterns. It does not run randomly. It aligns with forces deep within the earth. Pressure lines, heat flow, and structural fractures. These are the same forces that create gemstones in cavities, pockets, and voids. Inside these hidden spaces, crystals form in total darkness, slowly, molecule by molecule, over thousands of years. A quartz vein that widens, narrows, splits, and reconnects is speaking. Where it widens, pressure eased, and minerals had room to settle. Where it narrows, pressure increased, forcing fluids into cracks where they left material behind. This is where gemstones hide. Garnet forms like tiny embers glowing inside the rock. Emerald grows where silica is low, but beryl minerals and trace chromium are present. Sapphire forms when heat and pressure fuse aluminum-rich minerals in metamorphic zones. Tourmaline grows in fluid pockets where minerals cool slowly, forming rods of color that glow when cut. All of these can be traced back to fracture lines, and fracture lines are traced by quartz. So when you see a quartz vein cutting through stone, understand what you're looking at. It is the signature left by the Earth's inner heat, a memory of movement, a frozen river of mineral flow. And where minerals flowed, minerals stayed. The true art is not simply finding quartz, it is reading it. Where the vein is pure white, Minerals pass through quickly. Where it becomes stained rusty red, iron was present, and iron often accompanies precious metals. Where it turns gray or metallic, sulfide minerals formed, and gold hides in sulfides. Where small green, black, or pink needle-like crystals are locked inside, tourmaline has already been there. That is the moment to look deeper. Not every quartz vein holds treasure but every treasure-bearing vein includes quartz. Quartz is the messenger, the trail, the map. The ground around a quartz vein also changes. Soil darkens. Tiny crystal fragments gather in erosion lines. The weight of stone shifts. Heavier materials settle low. When rain comes, it reveals the truth even faster. Loose sand washes away. Dense minerals stay. Small dark grains with a metallic luster may appear, and those grains can be the early form of something far more valuable. Even before finding a full crystal or metallic mass, these grains are the first clue to economic value. This is where pricing begins. Value is not determined only by finding a gemstone. Value is determined by recognition, knowing what stage of formation you are observing. Raw ore contains potential value. Cut gemstones hold refined value. 
A rough stone pulled directly from the ground may look dull, but when polished it reveals clarity, fire, and depth worth far more than the rock that held it. One small tourmaline crystal of vivid color can exceed the worth of an entire bucket of ordinary stones. One clear garnet free of cracks can be transformed into a gem fit for jewelry. One small vein of gold locked in quartz can become an heirloom piece of natural wealth. But none of it is found by accident. It is found by attention. And that is why quartz veins matter. They teach patience. They train the eye. They force awareness. The world hides its treasures beneath layers of silence. Quartz breaks that silence. It shows where the earth opened, where forces collided, where minerals gathered and crystallized with time. Quartz veins are not only markers of value, they are markers of geological history. Every line, every crack, every formation is a record of heat, pressure, and time. Quartz veins form when the earth moves. Two layers of rock shift against each other, creating a fracture. Deep underground, water superheated by the earth's core moves upward. That water carries dissolved minerals, elements, metals, everything the earth has been melting and reshaping for millions of years. When the pressure changes, when the temperature drops even slightly, those minerals begin to fall out of solution and crystallize. First comes quartz. Then come the minerals that traveled with it. This is why quartz veins are trusted by collectors, miners, and gemstone hunters worldwide. If quartz formed there, something else had the chance to form there too. But the key is understanding where to look along the vein. The head of the vein, where it first opens, usually contains the most intense temperature fluctuations. This is where crystals like garnet and zircon often appear. Dense, well-structured, formed under high energy. The middle of the vein, where space widens and cooling slows, is where tourmaline rods grow, sometimes in beautiful shades of green, pink, and black. These are the veins that produce gemstones used in fine jewelry, rings, and collector's displays. The end of the vein, where fluids escape into open pockets, can sometimes form the most breathtaking structures. Cavities lined with quartz points, amethyst clusters, smoky quartz pillars, or even clear rock crystal towers. This is where beauty reveals itself in pure geometry, a silent cathedral built in darkness. Value changes here, dramatically. A rough piece of quartz with visible gold locked inside is not just a collector piece. It can be a statement specimen worth hundreds, even thousands, depending on clarity, weight, and rarity. A single flawless tourmaline crystal of vibrant green can command prices that surprise anyone unfamiliar with the gemstone world. An amethyst, once considered precious enough to rival rubies, forms inside quartz line geodes. When cut and polished, it glows with light that seems to move inside itself. This is value defined by nature, not manufactured, not imitated, not replicated. Each gemstone is a story of time, and here is the most important truth. Quartz veins do not lie. They show exactly where the earth opened. They show where mineral-rich water moved. And they show where gemstones had the chance to grow. All you need is patience, the eye to observe, and the respect to understand what you are seeing. Because the greatest wealth on earth is not hidden. It is simply overlooked. Walk slowly. Look carefully. Let your awareness sharpen. The ground beneath your feet may hold the value others walk past for decades, even centuries. The world does not hide its treasures from those willing to learn how to see. Pro Gems, where knowledge uncovers true value. If you believe in discovery, if you believe in learning the Earth's language, if you want to find beauty where others see stone, subscribe. Your next great find may begin with a single quartz vein.